Good morning. Good morning. This morning we're here to honor a true hero, Russell Timoshenko, who made the ultimate sacrifice. 16 years ago, he went towards danger. He knew he was putting himself at risk. He knew that car was stolen. He saw those dark tinted windows, but he had no idea what was inside that vehicle coming for him. A year and a half on the job, he still approached that vehicle. That's true courage. And that courage cost him his life. But that courage didn't die with him. That courage lives on with his family, who carry his name, who deal with the pain and the suffering. But this family, courage, and speaking up for all police officers, we truly thank you. But we know this courage lives in the hearts of our 7-1 precinct police officers and every police officer across this city. 16 years have passed, but the dangers and the difficulties of being a New York City police officer continue to be incredibly hard. And I say this to my fellow police officers, every time you pin that shield, every time you go to that 85, that 1013, to help a fellow police officer, that's true courage. And you are continuing to honor the memory of a true hero, Russell Timoshenko. And I also say this, it's been an incredibly difficult time to be a police officer over the last few years, as our profession's been under attack to say the least. But I believe this, I believe it is more important than ever that we continue to honor our hero police officers like we are doing tonight at 2.30 in the morning. We will never forget our hero police officer, and we are sending a message to this family that we will never forget our hero. And I thank you all for coming here tonight to this family, as you can see here tonight, your blue family and the PBA will always be here for you. Thank you.